hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i am going to solve day 18 problem of this month on lead code before starting if you guys haven't subscribed my youtube channel yet then please go ahead and subscribe it now without any delay let's get started with today's problem so today i am going to solve problem number 264 ugly number 2 okay so let's read the problem statement first an ugly number is a positive integer whose prime factors are limited to 2, 3 and 5. Okay. So we have given an integer n and we have to return the nth ugly number. Okay. So problem statement is very easy. Now let's understand this with an example. Okay. So let's say I pick this example first. Okay. So in this problem, uh, we have a given number n as 10. Okay. So let's generate the ugly numbers for this n is equal to 10. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to show you guys how we are going to solve this problem. Okay. So first thing that I am going to do here, I am going to create a ugly numbers array. Okay. And in this ugly numbers array, I am going to store the values. Okay. Of first 10 ugly numbers. Okay. So let me just give the index in here. So I am giving the index starting from one here. So this is index one. This is index two. This is index number three. This is index number four and this is index number five this is index number six this is index number seven this is index number eight okay and this is index number nine and this is my index number ten okay so i have to store the ugly numbers here okay so first ugly number is always going to be one okay so i'm just going to write it okay so here you see a uh, first ugly number is going to be starting from one only okay so one has no prime factors therefore all of its prime factors are limited to two three and five okay so now let's do uh let's fill the remaining positions okay so here what i'm going to do i'm going to create the pointers for the multiples of two three and five okay so initially i'm just going to set the pointer of two to one okay so here i am writing p2 p2 is nothing but the pointer of two okay so pointer of two starting uh, here i am writing one pointer of three i am uh, setting it to one and pointer of five i am setting it to one initially okay then i am running going to run one loop starting from i is equal to two okay so right now my i is at this position from this position i am going to generate the all the ugly numbers okay from two to n n is equal to 10 in this case okay this is nothing but my pointer okay and this is pointing to nothing but the index of my ugly numbers okay index of ugly numbers okay so here i can write it like this u n ugly numbers and at index one okay i can write it as ugly numbers at index is equal to one okay ugly numbers at index is equal to one Okay, so P2 is nothing but pointer 2, P3 is nothing but pointer 3, and P5 is nothing but pointer 5. Okay, so now I have to find my next ugly by 2. Okay, so next ugly by 2, I am just going to multiply this with 2. Next ugly by 3, I have to find, then I have to just multiply it with 3. Okay, if I want to find next ugly by 5, then I have to multiply it with 5. Okay, so what is the result that I am going to get here? So ugly number of 1 at this index, what is the value? 1 is there. Okay, so 1 into 2 is 2. Ugly number of uh, index 1, so value is 1 here so i am just going to get 3 here and here i am going to get 5 okay since un of 1 is nothing but 1 okay so now uh, out of these three which value is minimum uh, this 2 is minimum right this one so what i am going to do i am going to write this 2 here at this position okay now since uh, I am using this too. So I have to increment the pointers to ensure the uniqueness. So what I'm going to do I'm just going to update this pointer two value here I'm just going to update it too because I have already used one and here un of two I have to write okay un of two okay and now let me just erase other items here So we don't need this now. Okay, and now my eye is going to move further. Okay, since we have to generate the ugly numbers okay so what are my ugly numbers my ugly number is a positive integer whose prime factors are limited to 2 3 and 5 okay so that is why i'm just going to consider the multiples of 2 3 5 for example let's say a number is 14 so tell me this 14 is an ugly number or no 14 is not an ugly number see 2 divided by 7 is 14 okay now after that i have to divide it with 7 to get one answer okay 7 divided by 7 okay so here I'm not using a uh, 3 and 5 but I'm using 7 okay then it is not a correct answer okay because 
I only need those numbers whose prime factors are limited to 2, 3, 5, not 7. Okay, so this is what we need to find. That is why I'm just going to multiply the numbers with 2, 3, and 5 and trying to fill the ugly numbers array. Okay, so now once this is done, then again, ugly number of 2, my i is at this position. Okay, I need to fill this 3 index. Okay, un of 2, at this un of 2, what is the value? 2 is the value, right? So 2 into 2 is 4, un of 1 into 3 is 3, and un of 1 into 5 is 5. Okay, so out of these three values, tell me which value is minimum. 3 is minimum, right? So let's fill it. Okay, so see, we are generating correct sequence 1, 2, and 3 after that. Now, what will happen? I am using this 3. So now I have already used the 1 multiple of 3. Then I have to increment it to 2. Okay, I have to increment this to 2. I have to increment this to 2. And now my i is going to move further. i reaches at this position. Then let me just remove it. Okay, now again calculate. So what is the result that I'm getting here? un of 2 is uh, 2. Okay, 2 into 2 is 4 un of 2 into 3 is uh, 2 into 3 is 6 and un of 1 into 5 is uh, 5 okay so out of these three tell me which value is minimum this 4 is minimum okay so i am just going to write 4 here and then after that i have to increment the pointer 2 value to 3 okay so here i am just going to change it to 3 and this 3 is nothing but the index the index that i need to look in the ugly numbers array okay so here i am just going to write 3 now okay so let me just write 3 here okay and yeah that's it now my eye is going to move further and now let me just remove it and let me just remove all these numbers okay so now again do the multiplication okay so let me use this color pencil now so un of 3 add 3 index we have 3 okay 3 into 2 is 6 2 into 3 un of 2 is 2 into 3 is 6 okay un of 1 into 5 5 okay so out of this 3 which value is minimum this 5 is minimum so i have to write my 5 here and then since i have used the first multiple of 5 then i have to increment the pointer of 5 value to 2 okay this will be updated to and this will be updated to and my i is going to move further okay and let me just remove other items okay so now again we need to do calculation okay so now again un of 3 is nothing but 3 3 into 2 is 6 2 into 3 is uh, un of 2 okay so 2 index 2 is there 2 into 3 is 6 un of 2 at 2 index we have 2 into 5 is 10 so okay so how, out of these three uh, which is minimum these two are minimum okay so now what we need to do okay both are minimum so what we are going to do here we have to increment both okay since we are using one one multiple of 3 and 2 now so we have to multiply we have to just increment both okay so this 3 will be changed to 4 okay so this 3 i'm just going to write 4 here and this 2 will be changed to 3 okay so let me just write 3 here okay and yeah so i have to just fill this 6 here then my i is going to be moved to the next position right so let's do that so here my i reaches at this position now okay so now again we need to check so un of 4 into 2 so what value is there 4 is there 4 into 2 is 8 un of 3 that simply means 3 into 3 is 9 and un of 2 that simply means 2 into 5 is uh, 10 okay so out of these three which value is minimum uh, 8 is minimum so write 8 here move i to the next position remove this i okay and now we are using this 8 now so we have to update this p2 to 5 and this un5 okay this is what we need to do okay and let's just remove it okay now again do the calculation so un of 5 uh, at this index we have 5 so 5 into 2 is 10 and un of 3 into 3 is uh, 3 we have 3 into 3 is 9 and un of 2 that simply means this 2 into 5 is 10 so out of these three which value is minimum this 9 is minimum so just write 9 here move my i to the next position okay and now since we are using a 9 so we have to just increment this to 4 okay so this will become 4 here we need to update this to 4 okay let's remove further uh, all other things okay that's it okay so now again let's see uh here uh you know 5 into 2 okay 5 this Okay, into 2, if I do, I will get a 10. UN of 4, 4 index, 4 into 3 is 12. And UN of 2 into 5, UN of 2 is 2 here. Okay, so here I will get 10. Okay, so I add 9 index out of these 3, which value is minimum? 10 is minimum, so I have to fill 10 here. I have to increment my i. I is going to reach at this position. Okay, and now at the, uh, since I am using these 2 now, so I have to update this P2, this to 6. Okay, this will become 6. Okay, so let me just erase it. So this will become 6 here. So I am just going to write 6 here. Okay. And I am using 10 
this 10 as well so i am just going to update this as well okay so this will become 3 okay so let me just update it to 3 okay this is done now uh, let me just remove uh, other items okay that's it now uh, un of 6 into 2 okay at this 6 index we have 6 so 6 into 2 is 12 un of 4 4 at 4 we have 4 4 into 3 is 12 and un of 3 is nothing but 3 3 into 5 is 15 okay so out of these 3 tell me which is minimum this 12 is minimum so uh, here i am going to write 12 okay so uh, and if since i am using 12 so the, all these will be uh, incremented okay so this will be above 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 one will become 7 and uh, below one will become 5 right so i have updated this and now let me just erase it okay and then my i is going to move to the next position so i is out of bound since we need to find the i uh, n is pro 10 now so here what is output i am getting 12 okay so now just compare it okay let me just minimize the size so see here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 then 6 8 9 12 then uh, 6 8 9 10 12 okay so we are getting the correct answer okay so now let's suppose that n is equal to 11 then tell me what is going to be my next number is it going to be 13 is it going to be 14 or is it going to be 15 okay since i have said that 14 is not going to be answer is 13 is going to be my answer no it is also not going to be my answer okay 15 is going to be answer yes 15 is going to be my answer how let's see okay so let's solve my i is at this position okay so again you have enough 7 at 7 index we have 8 8 into 2 is 16 u n of 5 5 at 5 5 5 into 3 is 15 and u n of 3 3 at 3 index we have 3 3 into 5 is 15 okay so definitely the my answer is going to 15 here okay if i'm using 15 here then my i is going to move next to position and i have to increment this to 6 this will become 6 next time and this will become 4 next time okay that's it so we are getting the correct answer right so i hope that you guys are clear okay how we are going to solve this problem okay since we need the multiples of 2, 3 and 5, so that is why we have to do the same logic, okay. So now I am going to write the same thing in the code, okay. So now let's move to the coding part, okay. So first thing that we need to do here, we have to create one uh, array, okay. So let's name that array as ugly numbers, okay, int ugly numbers new int and give the size as n plus 1 okay since we need to find until n now so that is why we are doing this then first ugly number is always going to be one okay so i'm just going to fill the first position ugly numbers okay at one index it is going to be one only okay so see here i am filling one in the starting right so once this is done then after that we have to set the pointers for the multiples of two three and five okay so pointers of two pointer of three pointer of five initially all the pointers are set to one index right so what i'm going to do i'm just going to write int p two two one int pointer three two one int pointer three five two one okay this is what we need to do okay once this is done then after that we have to generate the ugly numbers from 2 to n so here i'm just going to run one row for int i is equal to 2 i is less than equal to n i plus plus and inside this i am just going to calculate the next ugly number based on the pointers okay so how we are going to get that int so here next ugly number okay next ugly by 2 okay just use that next ugly by 2 3 and 5 we need to find right three items okay then after that next ugly by uh, this is nothing but 2 by 3 by 5 okay so i'm just going to update the values for all this so we need to write but uh, we need to get the values from our ugly numbers of 7 okay this is what we need to write right ugly numbers and the index okay so this is my array okay so here i'm just going to write ugly numbers ugly numbers ugly numbers and inside this i'm just going to write my p2 value here i'm just going to write my p3 value initially okay and here i'm just going to write my p5 code is very simple okay and i have to multiply this with 2 i have to multiply this with 3 i have to multiply this with 5 that's it okay once this is done then we have to find uh, our next ugly number is is the minimum of these values okay in these values so i have to find the next ugly number so ugly number at index this index right so here I'm just going to write ugly numbers at this particular index i okay this is going to be math dot mean of which uh, this number okay math dot mean of 
okay inside this let's use this two times math dot mean of ugly numbers by two or ugly numbers by three out of this whatever i'm going to get i have to just compare this with ugly numbers of five by five next ugly by five okay so i'm going to get the minimum okay minimum value here okay once this is done then after that we have to increment the pointers to ensure uniqueness okay so here i'm just going to write if if my this okay if ugly numbers of ugly numbers of i okay if this value is equal to my next ugly by 2 okay if it is equal to next ugly by 2 okay minimum value okay whatever the minimum value that i am going to get if it is equal to this one okay then i have to increment my uh, pointer 2 plus plus okay so p2 plus plus okay same way i need to write okay so let me just copy paste it three times okay one more time we need to copy paste it so here if ugly number of i is equal to next ugly by 3 then i have to increment the pointer 3 okay if it is equal to next ugly by 5 then i have to increment p5 plus plus okay same thing now here whatever the values that i'm going to get if it is minimum then i have to increment the pointers for that same thing that uh, i'm writing here okay that's it okay once this is done then we have to in the end we have to just return the nth ugly number okay so here i'm just going to return one second return here let me just copy this return ugly numbers of n okay that's it now let's run the code and see if there are any code issues okay so all the test cases has been accepted now let's submit it so see our solution is accepted and we have completed a streak for 200 days wow nice so now we, uh, if we just see the time complexity so since i am running this loop n times okay whatever the value of n i have so my time complexity is going to be o of n okay so you can see the time complexity from here so it is nothing but o of n okay so i hope that you guys are able to understand to this problem if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section till then keep coding keep practicing meet you guys in the next video thank you bye bye